everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Jan Argasiński. Uh, I'm from Jagiellonian University in Krakow, uh, um, from Faculty of uh, uh, Game Technologies. Uh, uh, and I would like to tell you uh, about uh, the very big project I'm trying to establish now. Uh, it's called Cognitive Interfaces. And uh, uh, it says actually in program that uh, it is about modeling uh, um, user and player activities uh, with multimodal interfaces in spatial contexts. So uh, that's true uh, mainly, but uh, I don't have time exactly to tell you today uh, uh, about uh, all details about uh, methods and evaluations and modeling and uh, things like that. Uh, but I would like to tell you about uh, my inspiration and uh, why I'm interested in uh, this uh, uh, and in this area. So uh, it's gonna be a, a, a little uh, speed run because there is a lot of material to, co to, to cover. So uh, uh, sorry for my English, uh, 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 but I have a lot of uh, 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 images to show you. So buckle up and uh, uh, let's go. Uh, um, we are in pretty formal situation here. So uh, uh, I suppose I should uh, address you in very formal way. But I suppose that we are all uh, uh, gamers here. So uh, uh, I won't do that. Uh, 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 I will use uh, uh, um, example from another universe so here it comes uh, um, and uh, why I'm uh, interested in cognitive interfaces because we are all we all humans and uh, and raccoons and uh, other humanoids we use tools you know we are use uh, we are uh, tool using uh, beings and using tools it's something uh, that defines us in uh, a sort of way uh, uh, we are very uh, close to our uh, uh, our tools our gear our equipment and uh, 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 and so on uh, that it becomes the part of our identity you know like uh, have you seen the guardians of the galaxy so it's it's like like with a raccoon. Yes, he's he's a one with his gun, and 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 uh, without a gun, uh, a rocket raccoon is just a, a, a fluffy little animal that uh, looks uh, nice, and, and and everyone says oh when they see see, see them, but uh, with his gun he becomes a, a machine of total destruction. So uh, uh, when he gets his gun, uh, 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 he changes his identity. His, his, he becomes his true self. Yes, it's a very destructive one, uh, indeed. So, uh, this is part of, of his uh, identity. Uh, 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 and uh, we can uh, read this like, uh, as a metaphor uh, uh, of, of general uh, uh, usage of, of, of uh, uh, different, different tools and different devices. Without devices, without tools, uh, we become... Uh, 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 um, I don't know, some kind of co conscious animals. Uh, with, with, with use of tools, uh, uh, we are uh, becoming something uh, uh, much more interesting. And tools uh, are also uh, things uh, uh, that uh, sort of create our reality, create reality we live in, uh, in the media. Um, uh, uh, Ten minutes. Okay, in the uh, uh, media uh, kind of kind of way, you know, we are these uh, biocognitive systems with uh, uh, where we can connect, embed uh, some media devices, and 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 uh, expand our reality, but not in the matrix way. It's not the way that uh, I'm interested. I, I'm not talking about the virtual reality. I'm talking about uh, real reality. Uh, uh, um, the communication reality, which which is which is pretty real, you know, the the, the communication is something that that uh, uh, we experience every day, and uh, w what is more, uh, we are constantly being monitored, uh, being uh, uh, scanned by uh, 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 various devices in uh, 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 around us. So. Uh, uh, I wanted to show you uh, 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 some footage, uh, from, from some footage from one of my favorite uh, digital art projects, which, which is called Unnamed Scone Sculpture, where the body of the dancer is mapped into cloud of points in 3D space, and uh, then uh, uh, when she becomes data and her uh, her dance 
improvisation becomes data, uh, she's being changed into uh, uh, in 3D, 3D uh, environment, she's being changed into water, uh, uh, other sorts of liquids, uh, various points. It's, it's a really great project. It's, uh, it's written in, uh, uh, in uh, um, processing, which is my favorite programming language. Uh, uh, but I won't be showing you that. You can uh, 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 take the name of, of, of this project and you can uh, check this uh, on YouTube or, or uh, Vimeo and uh, it's all there. Okay, uh, so I'm one, I want to talk about uh, embodiment. Uh, embodiment is something that, uh, uh, um, something very important uh, uh, in our investigations. So we all have uh, our bodies, yes, so, some kind of our bodies, and uh, uh, actually they look uh, uh, much uh, uh, more like that. But we also have our body images, you know, uh, and it's not exactly the same as uh, as you may uh, uh, as, uh, as you know. So uh, we imagine us uh, uh, in a different ways that we exactly are. So uh, actually, I'm pretty fat, and uh, 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 in my everyday uh, uh, life, I don't perceive myself. As as a fat uh, until it uh, gets me into kind of you know problems. Uh, I, I broke a chair or something like that, uh, 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 or the lift doesn't doesn't go. Um, I have my body image, you know, which, which is constructed, uh, um, and it is uh, constructed with uh, uh, um, uh, with uh, with some uh, kind of senses which are not uh, uh, classical senses, and one of this is a sense of agency. Uh, that I am the agent of uh, things that I do, and uh, the other is sense of uh, ownership, and we can lose uh, temporarily these this senses in the various situation. Like you know, when uh, I, I, I got sense of ownership of my body, you know, I, I'm, I'm moving this hand. Yes, uh, uh, I mean, I mean to do that. And uh, uh, but if I uh, uh, fall off the stairs, I lose my sense of uh, ownership of my body temporarily. No, I, I can't do anything. I, I'm, I'm just falling down the stairs. So uh, 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 it's very, it's very uh, important, important relation uh, that we have um, uh, uh, between uh, our minds and our bodies. So this is a thing that uh, we want to study in the media context. Next thing, uh, our experiences can't be exactly reduced to our to our body only. I know, uh, it, it, it sounds uh, a bit uh, weird, but if I show you this uh, uh, disturbing image, okay, I choose softcore one, yeah, I could show you some hardcore operation of the de dentist uh, uh, operation and you will feel like, uh, oh my God. I, I, I have a heartache just by looking for it, you know? Uh, uh, you can feel bad just by looking uh, uh, for, uh, uh, on somebody else's body being, uh, uh, being uh, modified or uh, uh, being distracted, you know? So, so uh, our, sense, our sense, uh, sensual experiences aren't related only into our body. So, we have this body image we have something that's called body schema. Body schema is uh, uh, something that uh, uh, um, is a, a description of our uh, 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 ability to move or our, uh, 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 our endeavors in the, uh, cybernetic, in the cy cybernetic way. So uh, we can describe ourselves as uh, some kind of working system. And if I, uh, I don't know, take this, uh, uh, take this thing, I don't know exactly what this is, uh, but uh, I can make it a part of my body schema when I, uh, uh, un, uh, I uh, uh, engage with it. I can make, I don't know, my car a part of my body schema. When I uh, hit uh, 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 something with my car and I say, oh, that hurt. You know, I, I, I feel bad about it. I, I, I feel my boundaries. Boundaries of my uh, uh, body are boundaries of my car when I'm uh, driving it. So uh, we have something called body schema. It can be uh, 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 um, investigated in various ways, but I don't have exactly time to, to, to talk about it. Uh, we have uh, uh, all this system of perceptual feedback. So we have some kind of high-order uh, uh, intentions, uh, which um, 
can become motor commands uh, of, of our body movements, and there, can, uh, there is, uh, of course, uh, uh, feedback every time. I move my hand, and I know that I move my hand. And what is important here, and where the f all the fun starts, uh, here comes the interface. Uh, when uh, uh, I'm engaging with uh, some kind of interface, uh, uh, it becomes part of my uh, proprioceptive uh, uh, feedback. It becomes a part of feedback, information, uh, information I uh, get from, uh, uh, as a result of my movement. This is important, this is important for, uh, uh, for me. So, why it is, why it is inter interesting in, uh, uh, for a video game study? Uh, we can uh, uh, talk, in the case of uh, video games, uh, that uh, uh, we have something uh, like um, uh, extended embodiment. Our body image is in action on the screen of our, uh, of our computer and it uh, engages into uh, the, the, the senses ownership and agency. It is extended from my body to body of my avatar in a very, in very uh, uh, particular way. I wanted to show you some films, but let's skip it. Let's skip it. No, yes, no. Let's skip it. Uh, uh, I thought I could talk faster, but I can't actually. So, let's, uh, um, um, let's, let's go further. Uh, there is a, a um, possible description of a body, definition of a body, like a s system of possible actions. It's actu actually a quote from uh, Marlou Ponty. Uh, so, when we take this definition and uh, I ask you what the game mechanics uh, are, uh, they are also the system of possible action. Game mechanics is something that a uh, game allows you to do to uh, overcome the obstacles that uh, designers provide us. So, uh, we have relation between uh, this embodiment, this body schema and game mechanics. And this becomes a uh, uh, basis of, of, uh, uh, of our research. Because uh, for us it is very, very interesting why in Assassin's Creed when you uh, uh, perform a leap of faith, why is it satisfying you? Uh, why, why? In physical way. It's, it's, it's great feeling, you know? You, do you like jump from uh, tall bu buildings in Assassin's Creed? No, it's, it's all the fun. You feel like, like, like you're flying. Why do you feel like you're flying in Assassin's Creed? It's ridiculous. But it is because of extended agency into, uh, uh, into game system. And we want to investigate, investigate that. Why these P actions, these primitive actions, can become something uh, uh, that uh, our bodies uh, 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 respond response to? Of, co of course, we have uh, a lot of uh, 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 areas to cover here. Uh, uh, things like control schemes, like in Assassin's Creed, you know, to perform the leap of faith, you just have to put this, uh, pull the stick forward and press X, and you are, uh, and, and you jump. In uh, uh, and in in uh, uh, Y uh, uh, table t t table tennis, you have to make all the swings, and all you get in return is just a. Uh, 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 bouncing the ball around the table. So uh, uh, the, 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 the feedback here is, is, is quite different. How it, uh, uh, how it uh, uh, interferes with our motoric patterns, which we have. You know, the uh, uh, usage of the phone. Uh, uh, no? when, when I have the phone, I have this, 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 this uh, 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 sometimes involuntary uh, move. I, I, I check my phone. I feel it vibrates even uh, uh, when it uh, lies on the table and things like that. Why this, uh, this, uh, this control, uh, how these control schemes uh, interfere with motoric patterns? This is things we want to uh, uh, study and things we are interested in. And uh, f uh, we can, uh, uh, of course, uh, w when we conduct these studies, we can uh, uh, check, uh, uh, we can get from them uh, uh, things like uh, game design patterns, uh, uh, interesting thing. I would 
uh, uh, happily uh, tell you tell you about it, but it's, it's, it's uh, another uh, big uh, big topic: uh, uh, GUI design patterns and 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 immersion patterns for game design. Because the, uh, uh, I teach students uh, to create games, so I'm very interested in uh, in uh, various uh, uh, various methods to. Uh, uh, to to uh, uh, prototype to to, to 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 create to create to create games. So uh, we have some works that cover that. I, I uh, uh, encourage you to check this book, uh, Curious Ritual: Gestual Interaction in Digital Everyday, where we have a lots of uh, images of people using uh, everyday devices and how uh, this usage changes uh, uh, changes the, the the patterns of. Uh, of, the, of, of their behavior. It's, it's, it's very, very uh, pretty, pretty book. Problems. Yes, we have a lot of problems. So there, is a, there are methodological problems, there are financial problems, of course, and, and things like that. But I think it's, it's, it's a very important study and uh, uh, maybe some uh, uh, sometime uh, uh, from and now I uh, um, may be able to present you the actual results of uh, our project, which is uh, actually in, uh, uh, in conduction. We are actually making these investigations right now uh, on the various uh, devices. For now, uh, we are especially interested in uh, uh, mobile devices and in sp spatial context. So, uh, uh, everything with geolocalization and and uh, things like that is uh, our area, main area of, 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 of interest. Okay, so thank you for now. Uh, if you want to contact me, this is my uh, email address and this is uh, uh, my faculty uh, uh, um, of uh, uh, games technology, which is in Polish, Zakład Technologii Gier. I encourage you to contact me if you have any uh, questions or you want to become part of this study or something like that. Thank you very much. <laughs>